Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Klopp sold, best player in Premier League, at Liverpool but Salah is different. Summary of headline article. The rest is history. As the aforementioned duo still play integral parts in the Liverpool squad to this day. While already boasting both a Premier League and Champions League title under their respective belts. However, Sky Sports pundit and ex-Manchester City defender Micah Richards has claimed that in his final full season at the club, Coutinho was the best player in the Premier League. When he left Liverpool, he was the best player in the league wasn't he? Quote. Fast forward four years and Liverpool yet again boast the best player in the division in the form of Salah. Liverpool have less need to strengthen in other areas than they did in 2018. Losing Salah would represent losing an irreplaceable goal machine. From Daily Star under the main headline of Conor McGregor arrested. Summary of headline article. Conor McGregor has been arrested for alleged dangerous driving with his £140,000 Bentley. Temporarily seized. According to reports in Ireland. The UFC fighter was apprehended by authorities in Dublin. Ireland. While behind the wheel of his Bentley Continental GT. According to the Irish Independent. It is understood he has been charged with dangerous driving. A representative of McGregor's told Daily Star Sport. Mr. McGregor was driving to the gym when he was stopped by Gardai for alleged road traffic violations. UFC President Dana White told TalkSport last week that they are hopeful of an autumn return for McGregor. From the Telegraph under the main headline of what Ash Barty will do next. Retired world number one says, never say never, about tennis return. Summary of headline article. Ash Barty has said she would never say never about returning to professional tennis following her shock retirement. In response to a question about the prospect of making a comeback. The Australian said, well, you never say never. It's a long way off. Barty also hinted at a role with junior tennis in her home country. Saying that, seeing the smiles of the faces of younger players taking up the sport had reminded her of why I started playing. That's something that we'll work on down the track but I am excited to spend more time in that space. When asked if that meant she would have a formal position with junior tennis. Barty smiled and said she had no details to share as yet. From Mail Online under the main headline of Roma ready to demand £100 million for Tammy Abraham. Summary of headline article. Roma face a battle to keep Tammy Abraham this summer and are expected to place a £100 million price. Tag on the striker's head. The England striker has been a huge hit in Italy since leaving boyhood club Chelsea last summer. Scoring 23 goals in 37 starts for Jose Mourinho's side since his £34 million arrival from Stamford Bridge. Tammy Abraham has been a goal-scoring sensation since joining Roma last summer Chelsea inserted a buy-back option into Abraham's deal. Allowing the club to re-sign him for about £67 million from next year. But the Blues' domestic rivals are exploring the possibility of a move for Abraham at the end of this season. Chelsea still have a £67 million buyback clause that becomes active from the summer of 2023 clubs. From rival European leagues are also considering a move for Abraham. From Mail Online under the main headline of Aspiliqueta. It is not the right time to discuss Chelsea future. Summary of headline article. Chelsea captain Cesar Aspiliqueta has refused to pledge his commitment to the club despite his 
contract running down this summer, saying it was not the right place or time to discuss his future. Aspiliqueta looks likely to join fellow center backs Tiago Silva and Antonio Rudiger in walking out on the club as a result, but would not be drawn on the speculation when quizzed about on his future. What we have learned with the pandemic is to live day to day and in the moment. We are living in moments of uncertainty at Chelsea. That is the reality, Aspiliqueta added. Day by day we discover information. But on a day-to-day -day basis nothing has affected us. From the sun under the main headline of Max Verstappen insists Red Bull will come back stronger. From Bahrain GP. Summary of headline article. Max Verstappen says Red Bull will come back stronger at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix this weekend. Following their double DNF in Bahrain. The F1 world champion was forced to retire from the season opener last Sunday with a suspected faulty fuel pump, while he also complained of a steering problem. However, Verstappen, who was second here in Jeddah in December for the last Saudi GP, is eyeing another podium finish. However, there have been key changes made to the track and to the technical regulations of the sport. Verstappen added, looking ahead to Saudi, the track is still very new for us. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Man United's lessons from Guardiola mistakes after 10. Hag named, clear favorite. Summary of headline article. With Ajax manager Eric Ten Hag named as the clear favorite for the Manchester United job. The Red Devils should reflect on Pep Guardiola's debut seasons at Manchester City Ajax manager Eric. Ten Hag is now believed to be the clear favourite for the Manchester United job but the clubs. Fans need to be wary over getting too excited. Guardiola may have entered the Premier League with a reputation significantly higher than Ten Hag. But both managers are cut from the same cloth. Like Guardiola, Ten Hag will need plenty of time to ingrain his methods into a United side which is in desperate need of direction. Guardiola's debut season in the Premier League culminated with him failing to win a single major trophy for the first time in his managerial career. Is Eric Ten Hag the right manager for Manchester United? From the Telegraph under the main headline of England's batting must pass stress test on greener. Granada pitch to avoid winless winter. Summary of headline article. A bad test here could be terminal. A good one career changing. Or, perhaps, it will all be for nothing. Have the medical team messed up? Root simply directed the question to the medical team. He spent England's last net session with the conditioning staff, taking him back to basics to build him up again. Overton could do a job on this pitch. If the ball nips. With his accuracy and height. From BBC under the main headline of England crush Pakistan at World Cup. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section Cricket Women's World Cup highlights. England beat Pakistan by nine wickets Women's World Cup. Christchurch Pakistan 105. 41.3 overs. Armin 32. Brunt 3-17. Eccleston 3-18 England 107-1. 19.2 overs. Wyatt 76. Knight 24 asterisk England won by 9 wickets scorecard. Table impressive England swept aside Pakistan to move closer to a place in the semi-finals of the Women's World Cup. This was England's most complete performance of the World Cup, albeit against a side who had never come close to troubling them in ten previous meetings. World Cup debutants Bangladesh, whom England have never met in a one-day international should not pose a serious threat to their semi-final ambitions.
after a heavy Ashes defeat and a stuttering start to their World Cup defence. It could be that England are peaking at the right time. From the sun under the main headline of Russia fighting UK and Ireland to host Euro 2028 despite Ukraine invasion. Summary of headline article. Spineless world football bosses have been left shame-faced after Russia was disgracefully allowed to bid for Euro 2028. In a move that left disbelieving FA chiefs stunned into silence. Russia announced a deadline-busting bid to host either the 2028 or 2032 tournament. In a statement, UEFA confirmed the British Isles joint bid for 2028 has two rivals. It means Russian Football Union President Alexander Dukov, chief executive of Gazprom and a prominent Putin supporter, has retained his place on UEFA's ruling executive committee. However, no suspension of the Russian Football Union was imposed. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.